no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to Newbie Farm. <clears throat> Alright, it is harvest time. As you can see, all of our crops are ready. Um, I did turn off Seasons mod because I completely spaced that I couldn't plant soybeans at the time that I did. And so they... What the heck? That looks like wheat. That's ugly. Anyhow, um... I completely spaced that I couldn't plant them when I did, and instead of just redoing it, I figured I'll just take Seasons mod out. It didn't really pay to have it in there anyways, because the map's not set up for it, so it really didn't matter. Anyhow, we're going to fire up this combine. I am going to drop the straw, because I am going to possibly pick it up with a forage wagon later on. We have zero breaks, it seems. Okay, we'll get this header set up here. Whoa, I'm still set in reverse. <laughs> Would help to not be in reverse there. Kind of seems to me like this weed's a little bit taller than it really should be. I don't know, it's probably just me, but... Just kind of seems that way, for whatever reason. But anyway, we are combining, finally. So let's get at her. So we'll start off here with the wheat, then we'll move on to the barley, then over to the canola, then over to the soybeans, and then we can do the corn. Uh, that'll be last since we have to change headers for that, so it only makes sense to uh, save that for last. At least to me, that is. That's what makes the most sense in my mind. Breaks, breaks. <laughs> this combine seems to have none. So, I mean, there's not going to be a huge amount of straw laying on the ground or anything by any means, but it will be a pretty decent amount. You know, it'll make a little extra cash. Oh boy, this hill's nothing compared to that one. I don't even think we're going to move on that other hill there. This may not end well at all. Even with the header up, it still only drives two miles an hour, so... Let's just take down those engine RPMs a little bit here. I like that shut-off sound, that's kind of nice. That kind of helped with moving things a little bit faster. Didn't make a super huge, huge difference, but did help. So we'll just do two headlands here. That should be plenty. We have plenty of room to turn around. Uh, I'm not worried about having to back up with the combine because I will back up just because with the combine that's usually the easiest option definitely don't think that we're going to get very much for uh, wheat here quarter of the way full but I guess it is it is filling kind of fast and we haven't done and when you think about it you haven't really done much in this field here but uh, like six and seven those are a little bit larger we'll probably get a little more off of those than like these smaller fields here but 
<clears throat> so, um, shoot, what I was going to do is I was going to want to take... that quite down. I want to go load up. Um, I think, because I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sell these. Well, maybe not. Let's see, what do our prices look like first off? Yeah, okay. So we'll just wait then. I'll just store everything and sell it some other time. Probably could have gotten the bigger header as well, the 25 foot versus the 18. I think I'd have been okay there. But. <clears throat> I guess I'm in no super large hurry. Oops, wrong button. down the RPMs here on this beast again. Is there a fence in the middle of this one? Yes. Darn it. Okay, we're going to have to drive over the crop a little bit here. Oh, come on, brakes. Brakes! <laughs> this thing seems to have zero brake. Zero braking capabilities in it. There we go. I definitely don't really care for the soybean textures that uh, are in the game here. I know that's like the that's the standard texture there too. I don't really care for it much. It's nothing special. I mean, it looks it looks a lot like wheat in a way. It doesn't really look like soybeans. Uh, I have a texture that I used in 15 that I'm kind of hoping it'll work in 17 as well. Not exactly sure. I'm gonna have to try it and find out. Uh, but it's a realistic corn and soybean texture. Uh, I used them. I put them both on uh, like my Will Brothers Farms map, and they are what I was gonna use as well on the uh, Eastern Dakota Farms map. Uh, you know, when I had gotten that far, which I mean, obviously I didn't, but. Um, those are the textures that I was going to use on there as well. And I think what I'm going to do here... Let's go like this. Actually, I need to bring that back up. I'm going to just turn off my GPS lines here. There we go. We're going to get a shot of uh, in-cab harvest here. what it looks like so we are 60% full so far
kind of annoying how it piles up in a huge pile like that on the ends. But, I guess, I don't know, maybe it would do that in real life. Never been around a combine that's dropped straw before. Nobody I know has to do that, so... So what I'm going to try and do is try and get the wheat, the barley, and the canola harvest all in this video. Or at least the start of the canola, if at all possible. I know it's going to be a longer video, but I'm recording this a day in advance versus the same day like I have uh, with the past two videos. So that's also going to kind of help me out a little bit that I have uh, you know, I have a, quite, a, quite a large amount of wiggle room here. So... So we'll get to the end of the field here and we'll uh, unload the combine. Just because otherwise it'll fill up. It almost looks like there's like a tornado coming out of the thing there. Out of the grain tank. It's kind of weird. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I mean, if it's supposed to be dust. It doesn't look like it at all. It should be coming out of some other place or look different or something. So we got our 80% buzzer there. Beeper. Go ahead, we'll uh, run over here and grab this guy. We'll just put him on the field here. So it's a little bit easier to get to with the combine. Just park it right there. Make sure we put our parking, put our tractor in park, otherwise, we would have a uh, nasty surprise there. Let's get her back on up here. We'll just go ahead. We'll shut it off. Whoa. All right. We'll get this thing unloaded. doesn't even want to move it's so maxed out on RPMs all right so that basically half filled uh, our trailer there and I forgot to sign out of steam I see kind of a easy thing to forget because I really don't use or like I mean I use steam for the game obviously but uh, for <clears throat> for me to uh, go on to the actual steam and like sign out and stuff like that it's very rarely do I actually do that like opening steam I sign out usually every time I turn my computer on but a lot of times I do forget I'm trying to remember I believe it was a uh, Oh no, that was a... I'm thinking of a... Old Gleaner Combine mod from uh, FS13. I had a Gleaner... A Gleaner G is what I think I had. Pretty sure that's what I had. Uh, I think, and... I remember my dad saying it should be an F. And it'd be a Combine like what my great-grandpa used to have. I don't remember what exactly model gleaner he has or that's like still sitting in the shop uh, unless my uncle got rid of it I guess but uh, there wasn't you know I mean it was an older gleaner of course but it wasn't like a you know an N6 or anything like that I don't think I don't remember exactly what it was it was an older older combine I remember that but uh, what exactly it was I can't recall that there was one uh, that you know after my grandpa quit you know like crop farming he uh, they basically parked it in the shop and 
I think it also had like some issue mechanical issues or something like that if I remember correctly and it, that'd be something I'd have to ask my dad I guess he would he would know better than I would but uh, I'm pretty sure it had like some mechanical issues or something like that and they parked it and they also had stopped grain farming and uh, my grandpa just stuck to taking care of cattle and doing the hay portion and as far as I know that combine still sitting way back in the corner of the shop you know, the old grain trucks still sitting in there I'm sure haven't exactly seen anything down there in quite a while so I can't really even remember what's all there I know there's a 8000 series Alice I want to say it's like an 8010 or an 8020 or something like that or 8030 I don't remember or maybe it's an 8060 yeah Alice Chalmers 8060 and it's a it's the black engine I think is what it was because I remember now that I think about it the uh, Alice Chalmers 8060 mod they got released for 15 uh, I think it got released anyways that I had for 15, I'll say. Um, I know that... I remember thinking, you know, I could just go do some editing to the textures of this and have my grandpa's tractor. So it was a... Uh, or, no, not an 80. It was a 7060. My bad. 7060 Alice Chalmers. Uh, black engine. And black frame. Because I guess there's a black and a red where the frame and the motor and all that stuff is red on one and black on the other and uh, I think my dad said it was the black frame and engine that my grandpa had so I mean definitely kind of neat we're kind of getting off here a little bit on the GPS I don't know what the deal is here we're missing some snippets so I might get a full trailer load out of here Maybe a little better, maybe a little less. And I guess I really can't use the GPS right now. It's, it's not wanting to stay lined up very well here. Not sure why. So we just got two more passes left here. done with the wheat move on to the barley and find out how this combine is going to react to that giganto hill I'm definitely kind of curious to see what it's going to do definitely not the greatest of yields though I plowed I cultivated I seeded I fertilized should get a good yield but really not but I guess it could just be the way that the map set up or just because of the size of field which is probably probably the thing that I would guess it to be um, to just be the the size of the field you know, it's not exactly huge or anything like that by any means so could quite possibly play into uh, our yield or in fact you know play the whole role of our yield actually who knows with farm sim who knows <laughs> that's all that I gotta say Combine here.
<clears throat> we'll uh, get it unloaded and Hop in the 1026 here and <clears throat> we will take this back to the farm and unload it. I'm actually going to fill up. Uh, I just want to see if I can fit all of what's in the silos uh, into this to see if I can make it all in one trip uh, when I do start selling. thinking start filling nope not quite huh okay so I want my tip side to be the grain door Oops, not why it's I all right so we'll get that unloaded we should have about just about 18,000 uh, liters of wheat here As, uh, we had 14,000 in the trailer and there's a little bit in the thing yet oh, I wonder if that's actually filling Oh, it doesn't look like it. That'd be kind of neat. Whoa, I fell down. So I also, I will show you guys here, I moved some stuff around. I put everything in the back of the shed now. Uh, a little bit easier accessibility. And then we got the 1466 sitting there now. Yeah, perfect timing just finished unloading so I'll take this over to the barley field and get ready to uh, haul some barley maybe we'll get a little bit better of a yield off the barley definitely not uh, as good as I hoped it would be but then again I didn't know exactly what it would be so so on this end of the field I don't have to do any headlands because I've got uh, this portion of the field to turn around on, or this field to turn around on, I should say. So I'm going to just whip this around and put it right here for now. Bring our pipe in, and we'll go ahead and start on our barley. I'm going to start with the worst section first, see how it goes. how bad this turns out hopefully not too bad Getting into the worst of it now here. Come on, come on, keep going. <laughs> there we go. We made it. We didn't get stranded on the hill or anything, so. Bet you if I didn't have all of my uh, four-wheel drive and diff lock and all that stuff on, bet you we would have gotten stuck. I'm 
curious how much smaller is field uh, 11 versus field 10 so field 10 is 0.7 hectares field 11 here is 0.82 or this yeah so field 11 is actually bigger um so it's about 0.12 meters larger than field 10 actually I figured that uh, field 11 here would be a little bit smaller just because it kind of narrows up compared to uh, field 10 there but I suppose this one's probably a little bit longer than that one is that's probably why it's a little bit larger Time to chug on up the hill again. <clears throat> we'll do some min cab combining here for a little bit. Uh oh. Really slowing down already cab on this actually isn't too bad this definitely seems like a really really small cab though holy smokes can only imagine what it'd be like to uh, run this thing must be kind of tight then again it probably is maybe a little bit out of proportion compared to real life as well I mean it is farm sim although it was made by polygonish so I would I'd assume that it was. Mm, I'd assume it was made to scale. But. Then again, you never know, I guess. I'm trying to just keep driving. So that way I don't get the big piles of straw. Because if I don't get them, I won't complain. I'd rather not have them. They are pretty large. My mirrors work. I can't even see the mirrors, so I can't tell. They are nowhere near, nowhere near my viewing range, so I have no clue. So, eh. The next pass should be a little better, and the one after that even better, in terms of this hill here. We're running anywhere from 30 to 40 liters of fuel an hour for our fuel usage. We're finally half full now, so that's good. I kind of like how it uh, does a couple of puffs of straw after you lift the header even. Just makes it seem realistic. Because it probably would still be kind of blowing a little bit of dust out yet. I wish the header height control script was in 17. Uh, it's a script in 15 where when you're selected on the header uh, if you press like left control or left shift J and left shift N it would uh, adjust the height of your header like how far it sits off off of the ground or you know if you want it on the ground and whatnot uh, that was a very useful script I hope it gets converted over I'd take a crack at it, but I'd have no clue whatsoever what I'm doing. 
know when it comes to that. So hopefully the creator of it converts it over at some time. So we'll be able to make a down and a back yet before we have to unload the combine. So when we come back we can unload it. We'll make it all the way back yet. I couldn't imagine putting like the Macdon or something on this combine. That'd probably fill up insanely fast. Of course, not on this map, but on a like putting the 45-foot Macdon Draper header on this combine. It would look pretty cool. It'd fill up super duper fast. That's for sure. And even with this 18 foot, it's not taking too awful long to fill. Maybe we'll get the 25 foot for next season or something. Uh, I see now it is supposed to rain. So hopefully we can get all the combine finished before then. Otherwise I'll have to fast forward some more. And lose some more money. I think, yeah, we were at $50,000. Now we're down to twenty. Because of fast forwarding. I think I fast forwarded three days, four days, something like that. Maybe, let's see. I think it was three days that I had to fast forward. Wait, we're going to be close to full. 94, 95 probably by now. Be pretty close. All right. Go ahead and get this uh, Harley unloaded here. I don't know why the, the tractor is rocking there. It's kind of weird. Not wanting to move there. Not at all. Alright, let's get her turned back on and uh, finish up this a little bit. And then I guess I'll have to see what we're doing for time. I know the harvest videos will definitely be longer. Just because they're a little more. There's a little more to it, it takes a little bit longer. We've harvested 1.17 hectares already. 1.18 now, I guess. It is kind of nice to see that. Um, I Before, I've uh, used that to figure out how much land, like how much of each crop I've got. Um, like, I mean... Or how much I've combined, I guess, um, of a crop. And then uh, I'll convert it over to acres, and that'll tell me how many acres I had of that crop, and then whatnot. But I should have figured out. Uh, darn. Well, for the canola field, I think I'll uh, figure out how many liters per hectare we get. Or I'll do like bushels an acre or something. Maybe, I don't know. I think these fields are kind of small. Might be a little bit weird to figure out. I 
think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to this opposite side here. Just like this. Start over on this edge and just kind of work my way in towards the middle of this piece. I do kind of wish the straw was a little bit more realistic in farm some. I mean, once it gets to where it's like, you know, this wide, it's okay, but when it's just that one little bit, that one little row like that, it's kind of, kind of looks ridiculous. I mean, I'm pretty sure when you're combining in real life, it kind of stays the same width the whole way. Maybe I'm wrong, I guess, I don't know. As I said, I've never actually been around it, you know, a combine that was dropping straw in a windrow. So I may be just be talking crap, I guess, I don't know. I guess if any of you guys uh, know the answer to that, or know how it actually is, then feel free to let me know. And feel free to tell me that, hey, you're absolutely talking crap. <laughs> You're way off. So I guess we've got about three more passes. Two, three, something like that. We're actually getting a little bit more barley than we did the wheat. Of course, this field is a tad bit larger as well. But still doing a little better with barley here which is a very good thing because even if I don't like record more video of this map I am still gonna be playing on it and so I mean I still obviously want to upgrade my machines and stuff like that so I mean, making money is definitely a good thing I don't know if there's missions on this map or not I've never actually done a mission in 17 yet. Even in 15, I think I maybe did one mission. If that. I don't even think I did one. Um, I know in 13 I did quite a few missions. Like, especially when I first got the game. Because, I mean, I didn't really have much for mods and stuff like that. So, you know, that, for the way that I was playing way back when, that was about the best way to make money was to do those missions. Uh, then with 15... You know, you got to where you could do, uh, you know, make a pretty good chunk of change just by uh, doing forestry. So, I mean, which I'm, I'm sure you still can here in 17 too. Just buy a chainsaw and buy something to haul the log with and away you go. I know uh, in the Massey Ferguson pack there is a like a log grab thing or something like that, whatever it is. Uh, it's like a little thing you put on the three-point and it's got a hook and you just grab right onto that log and um, away you go then. Oh, come on. Oh boy, we're 80% full again. So we're going to have to come back with the tractor and finish unloading this. Because this is going to uh, fill that up. Because we were almost, we were practically full once. And now we're over 80% now, so. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, unload what we can here. Oh, not what I wanted you to do there. Yeah, I really gotta fix that. That's really starting to get annoying. But, alright, we'll hop in this guy here. We got a full load of barley on. So we'll go ahead and we'll unload this and then uh, come back and grab that last little bit. 
can uh, move on to the canola. I just love this. <laughs> I can't say that enough how much I love this dynamic exhaust. And 15, I didn't like it so much. I mean, it, I loved it because it was cool and kind of realistic in a way. In a way, of course, not completely realistic, but... Um, but it just... It lagged my game horribly in 15. So... So we got back in grain door. Let's try back once and just see what that's like. Okay. Oh, I guess I gotta wait for it to come all the way down. There we go. Alright, so while that does that, let's check this out. 41 minutes. Uh, we'll push it and we'll do the canola. Uh, what we're actually gonna do here is we're going to get the combine going uh, and we want that to stay out. We're gonna get this over to the canola field and get it ready to go. So that way once that trailer is done we can just come down, grab it, and then get going on the canola. Uh, I have a feeling that this isn't gonna fill at all because knowing how canola has usually worked in the past in farm sim, you really don't get very much of a yield from it. So, but We'll see. We'll see what happens here, I guess, and see what we can find out. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll do the canola harvest in this video yet, and then the next, and then tomorrow's video we can uh, finish up the harvest and maybe even sell some of the grain or something. I don't know. Probably not, because I'll do that another time when I can fast forward. A little bit and see if I can't get some great demands. Alright, we'll shut that guy down. Go here, unload that. Alright, get that folded in. We'll get this going here. edges on the combine now, whatever the heck they're called. I honestly have zero clue. Uh, I've never actually seen a header have these on them. Uh, not around here. Uh, a neighbor to our farm, he does canola and he just uses his draper header. As far as I know, that's all that's used. I mean, I'm sure some people, they probably still um, swath it and then pick it up with a pickup head, but I mean, not I've never seen a header have these edges on them before it could just be like a European thing but I would have no clue never been to Europe, so I don't know how things work there yeah, we're only 10% full, so we're I don't think we are going to fill. If we do, it'll be towards the end of the field, probably. Might have to get the uh, crop destruction script, the for real module crop destruction. I don't know, it's one that's on the uh, official mod hub uh, and it makes it so you got tire tracks and stuff if you drive over like your stubble and crop and all that it is kind of realistic but I don't know how it works with course play and when I have course play on a grain cart or a combine and all that well not so much a combine but like a grain cart and that kind of stuff 
really don't trust it because I know how course play works and I know that it likes to drive over all over Tarnation so um, I know that it's not exactly the nicest thing to have with course play not the greatest idea of a thing to have So evidently these back tires don't get dirty. It's kind of weird. Kind of wish this combine had uh, the dynamic exhaust on it. This thing would probably almost never stop smoking. As high as the engine RPMs usually are. It's kind of annoying that that header is just gliding over the crop and not picking that up. So I might need to do a couple more headlands than normal on this field just because of the way it is. But I think I'm probably just going to kind of go around it for a little while. Like I have been. It is kind of interesting, though, how the uh, how that thing just kind of like slid forward out of the header in a way. I know I suppose well, I suppose that's actually the sickle from the header right there that came out I suppose it probably just kind of helps make sure that it gets cut and dropped into the header correctly or something I suppose the side things they probably just keep stuff from I don't know they probably push stuff aside or something that'd be my guess that would be the best guess that I've got done with this field already anyways so so yeah tomorrow's video we will just work on the uh, corn and beans and getting those done I may I think what I may do is I'll open up the soybean field off camera and maybe I'll open up the corn field too so that way I'll get it set up so that way we're just we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, you know, have the corn header in the cornfield, have the cornfield opened up, you know, have my headlands done and whatnot. Same with the soybean field, just have my headlands done and get it ready. Uh, except, you know, I'll still have the I'll have the grain header on the combine. So that'll be ready to go then. least halfway done with this field and we're only half full so we may fill the combine we might get lucky but there's I don't know canola is just not the greatest thing to do uh, I kind of hope that the multi mowing script gets converted over soon too uh, from 15 because uh, if it does then I'd like to set up my map so that you can swath canola and then like um, pick it up with a pickup header um, and even just see if I can't adjust my yield for canola on my map so that way if I you know whenever when and if I do canola it's not like I have to plant you know all of my fields just to be able to make a profit you know make it so that way a field actually yields something decent now it just it doesn't now that's something that I was gonna do in 15 too on my maps uh, set them up for swathable canola you know, or try and you know try and see if there was a way to do that figure out how and whatnot but I mean, 
just haven't completed them enough, I guess. Um, you know, like Eastern Dakota, I basically just kind of leaving that one behind. Same with my Will Brothers Farms map. Uh, probably never gonna touch either of those again. I'll just do this new map that I'm doing, and you know, that'll probably be probably be about the only one that I do. Uh, other than I am gonna be working with somebody on a map uh, for the server. Uh, you know working with some of the guys on the uh, Canadian farming modding team uh, to make a map for the server uh, or more so I guess just with the owner I guess uh, to make a map for that We got one full pass for sure left. I'm guessing there's going to be a little bit of a strip left. It's just my guess. We're going to probably be about 74-75% full here at the end. 74. Not far off from 75, I'm sure. So hopefully we can fit the last of this canola into this grain tank. We're gonna get the majority of it in one pass here. May have to go back and clean up just a little bit. If anything. But so far so good. Oh, I missed a little snippet there. Let's see if I can't get over just a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Just hit 80% there. Uh, we got a little bit that we might go pick up. See, with the wheat and the barley, I wasn't too worried about it because I got enough of a yield. But with the canola here, I'd like to get every last seed, <laughs> every last kernel of it, every last little drop because it's that poor that it is worth burning the fuel to go get it. I think this is my first actual harvest in 17. I know I've like done little snippets of harvesting, but the first like plant, you know, plow, cultivate, plant, fertilize, and harvest. Especially in this short of amount of time. This has been, I think like two or three days, two days. Pretty sure is what it's been. So, what we need to do here, we need to get this guy taken back to the farm and unloaded. And then come back and grab that canola. And take that up to the bins. Or our storage, I guess I should say. Because it's not really a bin of any kind. But we'll take this up and get it stored. And then we'll go grab that canola and then we'll call her a day. Let's just see what we got here for barley now. Twenty-three thousand three hundred and seven liters and we got seventeen thousand six hundred and forty-nine of wheat. So I mean, it's not too t terribly bad for this map. We'll see what we got for uh, canola when we're done here. I mean, of course, I'm not just figuring out, like, aside from what was in the storage already. I'm just figuring it out with that. You know, what we have to sell, basically. Hop in here and we'll get this unloaded.
And then, uh, yeah, we'll just move this guy over to the bean field and get ready to rock some soybeans in tomorrow's video. So we filled the trailer over half full, so that's a good sign. I mean, as good as it'll get, we will be able to fit uh, whatever canola was in storage already in that trailer as well. Uh, same with the barley, we'll be able to haul all the barley, uh, you know, like without making a trip where it's just got a couple thousand liters in it. Like with the wheat, that one, that's not going to pay to make a second trip with, just because of how little of an amount there is. So. Alright, let's go get this unloaded, and then we'll get this tractor taken over to the field, and then uh, we'll be done for today until tomorrow uh, when we finish off our harvest I don't know maybe it unloads faster if I uh, do the back door huh, there's a beacon under the trailer that's kind of interesting kind of funny the way that some of these European machines and trailers and all that stuff is set up. Oh yeah, that's unloading a little faster there. Alright, so we got 13,934 liters of canola. So in total, we have almost a full, just a little under a full uh, tipper trailer full of uh, canola. So not bad. Now, what are our prices like for the canola so right now it's at seven hundred and seven dollars at the garden center and this thing really smokes when I'm in the escape menu with the gas pedal pushed it's kind of cool but that is gonna do it for me for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.